in the more recent years, what has happened is the pulmonologist role has again hopefully now broadened and will become much more of this uh, accepted um, desire to have a multidisciplinary approach to dealing with the lung cancer patients. We are really quite late in lung cancer in recognizing the benefit to the patient as well as to the treatment team by working together. So in many ways as a non-oncologist, I look to people who work with breast cancer as a good paradigm of how we should run uh, cancer management, whereby not only do the surgeons and the pathologists and the radiologists all work very closely together, but uh, really there are some very firm standards. You would never consider doing a lumpectomy or mastectomy without taking out lymph nodes. And yet circa 2011, 2012, we still are regularly seeing patients coming from the community who have had a lung cancer surgery. We know what the lung cancer is, but there's inadequate tissue staging of the lymph nodes and so forth. So whether pulmonologists can come back in is by dealing with imaging, whether it be conventional imaging, CT scans, or with so-called metabolic imaging, such as PET scans. And there are a lot of new metabolic and nuclear type imagings coming along. So soon we'll be having basically um, nuclear medicine, molecular imaging. So we are much better at being able to do clinical staging. But clinical staging is inadequate. And uh, our dictum is to really educate our colleagues into going in and doing good thorough tissue staging. And where we have become much more helpful to the rest of the team is our ability to sample lymph nodes with much greater accuracies because now we have tools such as endobronchial ultrasound where we can sample lymph nodes and also get quite a bit of tissue. <laughs>